17 shoot off the shot off them nose Suck on the mother boy, hear that? Hey, I'm a killer, I'm a killer Now come for the Make us a jersey clumsy and so lousy See me fire the OT Me think it's too late, too late, too late Nothing can work Yo, people, listen to me I see where Masika is throwing a lot of shades at Alkaline in his songs nowadays. And remember that Malidan, the Tatcha God, predict these things over the years. The people that may have watched my channel them over the years, you guys are going to know that I call these things. I stated that Masika is going to be in a spot in dancehall where he's going to need this lyrical confrontation from Alkaline. And because of what he did the other day when Alkaline was calling him, it's probably gonna be too late. Uh, I'm not even gonna try to speak parts on but Masako, we'll be away upon the clash with you and Alka. So, you know, to that point of like, no one man can ever run dance hall, you know, when is it gonna be, the, when is the clash gonna happen? That pass, that pass. All right, see it? So the, so the king just said, oh, yeah, I'm sorry. The king just said, oh, yeah. And sometimes you have to let the king talk, you know. Yeah. <laughs> king talk, all right. I need to know from you fans if it's too late. Because I'm looking at it like it's too late. And also, they must say, TJ, it's too late. That can't work. They're saying that you're buying views for your song. And it's a collab with you and Massacre. So what about the few fan base them? Aren't these people supposed to run up the views on the song? Let's find out if TJ is buying views for the song. <laughs> Me take a toast from every door to open my land Another toast because me force them know my heart And another toast you fuck it with a spider bar Devilish on a clip chat Kill you for nothing any boy you move this that Big shot made them a hit fire tip top In a me zone so clown it don't tempt me When me gone ruined me close it don't empty Pack it full up Can't this ya feel ya trickster When you play a game like football fixture Neck twist car by now miss ya Body throw down and wrap up like this we no mix our mingle. Nah. Remember, we full of chips like Pringle. <laughs> John Oster, you know, dance hall is a weird place. No joke, dance hall is very weird. But you hear me? You ain't tuned to the Touch I Got TV with Mali now, nah, Fally. Now, nah, Fally, the first of them, I chat to them, I chat to me, I go do what I do now, nah, Mali. Me, I go touch Smuddy. You hear me? Do the right thing. If you're new to the platform, please demonstrate what's on the screen. It's important to the videos. It's important to what I do on a daily basis. Remember, when it's all said and done, a lot of people are going to point fingers and some is going to champion me. So the ones who champion Mali and I respect what I do on a daily basis in the media, please to put in your support each time you check into the channel. Don't start changing it because the haters, the apps, the ones who don't like me, they're not going to want to support the channel. They just want to watch and gather some information. And I checked the comment section the other day and I realized there's a lot of Gaza fans on my channel. And also, I see the crocodile fans them popping up like a double giant. It's okay. You guys are welcome. Of course, I do respect and rate Massacre too. But I've been telling Massacre for years now and months now and weeks and days and hours and seconds and minutes that Massacre, you need to upgrade. You need to step. You need to do something brawling in dancehall. But yeah, hear me? Before we get into all of that Massacre and Alkaline's explanation, let's start off the video with TJ, the up top boss. Because people are out here pointing fingers at the singer saying that the singer is by views for the latest song with him and Massacre, which is the collab, never change. Something like that. I said name in a member. How we go? I don't remember the name, right? but yeah, people. Eh. They must say TJ I buy some views to the song, and I'm looking at TJ like TJ, but it's a collab with you and Massacre. You know what I mean? I'm not judging the artist. I don't know if the man is buying views, but I'm just giving my few cents on it. It's like, yo, you have the up top fans, mm -hmm, which is TJ fans. And you also have the Crocodile fans, which is the Crocs them, Massacre fans, mm-hmm. So I'm looking at the song like, mm-hmm. The two of them, the two fan base can tap into the song, mm-hmm. I mean, I say, what's your style, you know? But you don't need to buy any views because Massacre fans them gonna run into the song and TJ fans are gonna run into the song unless the artists them don't have any fans to tap into the song and they're probably depending on other fan base out here to tap into the song because I realize not a lot of fan base are strained from their artists to tap into other songs especially when it's an artist that you know their artists and that artist are not good they're not cool in the game people stay far from these songs but let me just put this out there immediately before we get into the part of the video with Alkaline and Sika <laughs> yo listen to me you see, when you put quality out there, over quantity, people are going to literally run into your songs. People are going to share it. 
They're going to campaign it. They're going to search it up. They're going to look it up. No matter what platform the videos or the songs are on, people are going to tour the media and find these songs. Just like Molly done put out a one video at times, you know, and it's speaking volume where a lot of people say, yo, the review, you are bad, no, yes, I, 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 <laughs> and people are like, I, I, I would have vlogged you, you know, people who don't know me yet because the media is so wide, we're still growing, that's why I never yet get comfortable with the work that I do and put in in dancehall because I know I have hit the pinnacle that I plan to reach, I'm not even halfway there, no views, no subscribers, nothing don't frighten me, I'm just going to work until the end of time when I can't work anymore. You know what I mean? So TJ, if you guys are buying views to the song, please stop doing that. It makes no sense. And it look really bad too for people to be pointing fingers at a caliber artist as you, TJ, and Masika to say that you people are buying views. Over the years, Masika get charged for buying views. We know that. But TJ, like, don't mix in that fam. People will put in the support. I'm not judging you. I don't know what's happening. But yeah, people are talking. So yeah, you hear me? This is the part of the video that, you know, the fans have been waiting for. <laughs> The people that we have chat from Maledan TV over the years, over the months, over the weeks and the days and the seconds. You guys know that I've been calling these things. I've been pointing out so much to Massacre and the Crocodile fans. Up to a point in Dancehall, you know, the entire Dancehall was running with it that I don't like and I hate Massacre as an artist. And that was a big lie. Them tell on the touch. Because Maledan is an outspoken youth. I don't take program. I don't take press. But just say it as it is. It doesn't matter who the argument is going to hurt. The truth always hurt. And that's the reason why I speak the truth. And if you're a person who can deal with the truth, you're going to respect a vlogger like me. Because they don't tell lie on these artists out here. I speak it as it is. As how they present it, as how they put it in the songs, that's how I present it. Listen to me. Masika, I know that this day was coming. I know that you were going to hit rock bottom where it's hard for you to float again. Meaning, be on top. Be as one of the, you know, the main dancehall artists out here. Because listen to me. Vibes Cartel is out, presently speaking. And since Vibes Cartel touched the media, every single vlogger and fans and their mother, they're running with Alkaline and Vibes Cartel. And you, at the moment, feel left out in dancehall. And that's the reason why you released that song called And to be honest, it's an okay song. I love the message we you send with it. Then you step with you and TJ and that collab. And you shade Alkaline about you knock out the champion and take the belt. Somebody has said to me, Mr. Dan. And if I be any man belt, I may say, I don't know, you know. <laughs> you get to me and say, so I look for a massacre like me, I say, which belt? And if I black belt or the white belt, I say, massacre, top one like a Bruce Lee and a Jet Lee thing, this number done. This is a Jackie Chang. What kind of belt you are talking about and a karate? And here, massacre step again and put up a thing on his IG page where massacre is saying some things in that preview. Which I know that he already shared Alkaline in that preview. I'm not going to highlight it now so I can feed the whole media. Meaning these undercover fans that I have who call themselves vloggers who copy from my shit all the time. And go put it on their channel. I'm not going to highlight it until the song forward. So if you want to highlight it from early, go put it in the work. Because me already know where I'm going in, in that couple of seconds already that massacre bring to the media. So I say that to say this. People, I need you guys to literally drop the comments them in the comment section and let me know should Alkaline go at it with massacre at this point? I don't know. For me, it feels like all of that passed. You know why I would say pass? It's because Massacre have gotten the chance over the years and the months. Alkaline call you out way before Vibes Cartel even start is um his privy council in the UK. The man I call you out and you're running and dance all out here playing mind games and they're talking a whole bunch of smack in their videos and whatever they're putting out in the media. But Alkaline fall off. Massacre are on the place now. Massacre now rise now dead. Alkaline afraid of Massacre and a whole bunch of shit who not talking at the media and here is Massacre right now stepping out shading Alkaline in his songs broski. 
Massica shade alkaline in all over again. Massica shade alkaline with the song with the man TJ. Massica shade alkaline in this new song. I don't know what the name is gonna be for the song, but he preview it on his IG page. And now Massica is looking for a clash. Masik, I feel like it's too late, but Alkaline kind of deal with things different. I can't predict everything about the artist because this man is hard to, you know, predict things about him at times. But sometimes because I pay attention so much, I do pick up on things. I'm going to say that movie I'm going to make. And the move do make, you know what I mean? Because it's my artist. It's someone that, you know, like I've been into his music and the rims with the artist for this longest time now. And it's like, yo, we're seeing everything. But Masika, you drop the ball. And right now I know that a lot of these Vendetta fans, they're going to say, no Clash, we're not going help him. And Masika, this seems as if you're seeking help and you're seeking some form of validation at this point. Masika, why didn't you do this or did this like two, three years ago or maybe a year or maybe six months ago? I can't tell out six months yet. Why didn't you do something like this eight months or nine or ten months ago? Masika, come on, Crowdy. I feel like it's too late. And I know that Alkaline know that's what you're doing, but they're going to say, oh, Alkaline run. In Freda Massacre, if Massacre continue to shade and shade and say things more vividly in his songs, that's where Dancehall is going to move to next. They're going to say Alkaline is afraid. So it's either Alkaline step. I have been saying this, Massacre, for years. It's going to get to that point where it's like you need the clash and it's too late. And then it's going to have you looking like a fool and having you looking stagnant in dance hall. And it's only going to leave you to continue to throw shades upon shades upon shades. You remember what Tommy Lee did with Alkaline and Alkaline didn't look at him. And Tommy Lee is a last, 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 last artist in dance hall right now at this moment. People, Molly Dan only step and speak the truth. So if you agree with what I'm saying, and if you even disagree, please use the comment section and drop your comments. Let me know what you people think about this whole video and this whole topic about Alkaline and Massacre. TJ them say about your views. We don't know that true that is. Like up the video. <laughs> drop your comments and subscribe to the channel. Turn on the post notification bell. Click the share button. And remember, say yo, a veg we deal with. Vegetable and call it. And a Korean and a mutton.